Hey, what's happening everybody? So today I am finishing up uh, this side cabinet. That's the only real frame that I have left. Um, basically, I, I kind of got started on it the other day, but I've got a whole nother part to build. I'll tell you about that in a minute. And then the side ones, there's just some little finishing touches and the, uh, the bench box that flips on its side to support the bed. I got plywood for that, so I'm gonna put that on and uh, basically that's it. And then uh, the main living area, except for the boxes that are gonna go up top, are done. So I'm just gonna prep them for paint and um, the next one will just be painting stuff and then putting it in. And then I gotta build the boxes that go up here and apply the vinyl that I got to go on the sidewalls for all the trim. So let's do this, woo! Okay, so I cut this piece down to the proper height. Now I've gotta line it up with this. But the thing is that this line with the bed is actually straight and this line over here is going out. Uh, so just like that big taper we had on the other side, there's a big taper right here as well. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna line this up uh, exactly mated with the bed. So I'm gonna stick this board, which is not cut down yet, it's just, um, it's just to figure out how long I want this thing and how to put it together. I'm going to stick this clamp underneath to hold it in place. Oh, this is difficult. Come on, buddy. Come on, little buddy. And this will free up a hand. Boom, there we go. So now that one can stay in place, which is awesome. It makes my life much easier. And I could just stick this one. Kind of made it up with here, see how I want it. I mean, I could make it like that. And then I have like a little cubby right here. I could probably stick my pepper spray right in here. That'd be a good place for it. Or I could made it up like this and put like a little little brace in the middle to connect this piece to this piece. Um, I kind of like this idea actually. Because I can stick, I think my, I'm going to see if my fire extinguisher would fit in here. That'd be a good spot. I could put the fire extinguisher and then the pepper spray right above that. Yeah, I'm going to see if that fits. All right. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. I'm so glad I thought of that. And even the pepper spray will fit right in there perfectly. So hopefully I don't reach for the wrong one. But if uh, a bear or some kind of uh, person wishes to do me harm, um... I got two pretty good options to scare them off right now. Plus, if there's a fire uh, either in my van or um, somewhere outside, some, something else is on fire that needs to be put out real quick, I'll have real quick, easy access to this fire extinguisher. Just bam. And um, I'll have to figure out a new way to affix it in here, but I'll figure that out later. So I'm just going to grab my pen and uh, mark exactly where this guy is at. Everything's nice and square. Boom. So I'm going to cut two of these and uh, have one down on the bottom and one up at top and then connect it to this and connect those two together. And uh, yeah, we'll be good to go. Okay, I've got this piece of wood, which I checked, it's really straight, setting up against here. And I've got this piece of wood straight up against this one. And then this is the wood that I want to screw in, but I need a piece here to connect to it. And then this one I just screwed in. Now I'm gonna drop down some wood glue. Spread it around all nice like. Yeah, just like that. You like that little wood glue? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so I put a little bit on this side too. Where is that? It's right here. And I pre-did the, whatever this thing's called, I don't know why I cannot remember that word. And I'm gonna line it up on here. Boom, I'm gonna line this guy up. All right, line this bottom one up. Bottom part's the most important. All right, so I got this piece put in place. Uh, we're pretty much there, just gotta connect the pieces. So I'm gonna put this piece right here. It's gonna end up just right here. And it's gonna hold it in place real well. And then I'm gonna put another one back here. I'm just gonna measure that out and cut it and uh, make sure that it fits good. 
and then pull these parts out and uh, it's got to have Luan on the bottom here and then there's going to be Luan right here in between covering this whole thing so that um, it looks really nice and to hold the stuff that's in here in here. Um, if there's any welders in the Portland, Oregon area, I would love uh, your help. I'll totally pay you and everything. I, uh, I need help building my uh, the bracket for the seat swivel. So if you are a welder in the Portland, Oregon area or know anyone, uh, please let me know because I, I need some welding help with that. Thanks. I just realized my mic's been on the wrong setting probably the entire time. Uh, it's right now though. Sorry about the poor audio quality. So I've got this piece in. It's all, everything's laid out. Uh, one of the last pieces is I'm going to put this here and this will support the uh, the pieces that come out because they have to come out a little farther than I thought they would. So I'm just going to mate it all the way up against the top and then hold it down and make sure that everything slides out good. Okay, perfect. And now I'm just going to screw this bad boy in. And the next thing I want to do before I pull everything out of here is set this bed up, pull this guy out, and figure out exactly how long it needs to be to fit the bed, which is 74, well I know it's 74 inches, but I'm going to measure it out, and then I'm going to put a piece of wood here to block this from going too far so that this thing doesn't get pulled all the way out again. So I'm measuring both ends on this because uh, the mattress is a rectangle. So it's okay if it's just a little under. Even 73 would be okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go to 73 and a half, uh, just to squish it a little bit. Not so much that I have to push it down or anything, but. So I know that I'm gonna want Luan right here, so I'm gonna take this little piece of scrap and set it up so that I can make sure that this doesn't go in too far and prevent me from doing that. So I'm just gonna set it on here and make sure it fits, and that looks perfect. So I'm just going to drop some glue on here, and I pre-did the uh, whatever this stuff is called. I still can't remember. I don't really care anymore. So I'm just going to drop some glue on here real quick and spread it around and uh, screw this bad boy in and see how it works. All right, so here's the big test. This guy just pulls out like that. This one comes right out. Bam. We got a bed. Nice and easy. So I just removed all these cabinets myself. It only took about five minutes. It was super, super easy. And that is awesome because if something happens to this van and I have to get a new van or uh, I decide I want to sell all the inside pieces to someone else who's got an Astro or something or I want to change one of the cabinets somehow or I want to do a super deep clean, uh, it'll be very easy to do that. So I'm glad I did that. All right, so I got all the sides on this one. Uh, the front part I did not connect because I want to put this on hinges so I can use this as storage for probably like winter clothes, maybe an extra blanket, uh, clothes that I don't wear all the time, or something like that. Uh, just soft stuff, doesn't matter if it gets tumbled around, because remember this thing's gonna get pushed on the side and pushed back, and then pulled out and turned over, so I don't want anything fragile in here at all. So I want to test out how this bed works real quick, and uh, make sure that this stopper that I put here works, and if not, pull it off and uh, put it back on the right way. So I'm just gonna see how this pulls out and try to imagine being in the van. So maybe I'll push this forward a little bit, grab this. Okay, it still pulls out kind of easily. Looks like it's pulling the mattress with it a little bit. Pull it out all the way. There we go. Now just lift up. And probably have to push back a little bit. Yeah, push back. Boom, there it is. Looks like it fits this way. Straight back. Yeah, it's all the way in. It is a little scooted over though. Okay, that works. I don't like the way this looks though. It's a little, it's a little cockeyed. So I might pull it off and straighten it just to make it look better. So let's see what this is, uh, how strong this is. Oh. Oh, it feels good to rest my back. I think that this is gonna be good. I'm not breaking yet. <laughs> I think it's strong enough. This is awesome. Man, this thing's gonna be in the back of my van. Woo! Yeah.
does creak a little bit, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna pull this off and fix this real quick, but otherwise, I'm totally satisfied with this. Let's see how it goes back up though. And there's a couple, there's a, two different ways I can put this mattress. One way is really tough and one way is really easy. I already figured that out. I don't remember which is which though. I think this is the easy way. Yeah, definitely the easy way. Just push it in, lift up just a little bit. Boom. Back in day mode, oh yeah. Getting on the back on the road starting to feel like a real thing. So I've got this wood filler and this uh, putty knife and I'm just gonna go around to all of the cabinets and all the spots where it looks like it could use filler, all the uh, all the joints and everything. I want them to look really good. I want this thing to look good and like professional looking as much as possible. So I'm just gonna go through all the little cracks that uh, I wanna fill and just uh, fill it in with this stuff with a little putty knife and then the next step is sanding. So a couple little extra touches right now means that later on I have, well, at least for the lifetime of this van, or lifetime of me, um, I have no regrets, and I have pride. And I have uh, pride in my craftsmanship, and everything else. So these little fine touches are, uh, they take a little extra time. It makes this thing take longer, but it's totally, totally worth it. So I've got my putty knife here, and I've got my wood filler. And I'm just using the side to push it into these cracks. This is a place where I actually, actually, accidentally uh, hit with a saw and it left this nasty notch. So I'm filling this in with wood, wood filler here and um, you're not even going to be able to tell that it ever happened. And it's going to be great. So I'm also going to go in and fill all these uh, screw holes down here because they're kind of inconsistent. And I tried to be as consistent as possible with uh, where the holes went in and everything, but it just didn't, it didn't work out perfectly that way. And I just like this to look like one solid piece of wood without any screw holes in it at all. So once this little piece is done, and that's looking pretty good, yeah, the rest of it I can sand off when it dries. I'm just going to uh, use this putty, put a little bit on the knife, and push it in. and uh, fill up all these little gaps. So that looks like one solid piece of wood. These are bigger holes, so it might actually take two times to do this. But I'm going around all the cabinets and every place where it's split or anything like that, I'm just filling that up as well. Just make this thing look really nice, you know? So when I get in this thing, it's like, oh man, I'm home, I love this place. You know, whereas before it was kind of uh, just thrown together, real sloppy construction looks really unfinished you know I found that uh, I just feel better when I'm in environments I really like so I want to make my home an environment that I, I really like and I'm really proud of alright so this is the last piece before I am totally done with uh, these cabinets except for the top doors and uh, I'm not even positive I'm gonna do them anymore but I probably will um, I'll do that later. I can take measurements from inside and make them in here and then uh, just all I'd have to do is screw in the uh, the uh, hinges. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, next time I think, I, well I know what I will be doing next is painting, um, but after this I'm just going to be sanding the rest of the night and getting everything ready and then cleaning up. And uh, that's, that's pretty much it. And then I got to apply all that vinyl as the trim inside the van, so that'll definitely be a video. Uh, I don't know if I'll film the painting part, because uh, that's that's pretty straightforward, and uh, if you don't know how to paint, there's, there's going to be other videos that can teach you how to paint a lot better than I can. It's pretty much dipping a paintbrush in the, in the bucket and putting it on stuff. Uh, I think the paint that I have is uh, it's also a primer, so I don't think I need to prime anything, especially if I sand it really well. So, um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching and uh, love yourself. Hey, what's up, everybody? I just woke up. I even have a.